so today we're breaking into our production to get Whistlin's turbos done for Monster Max. We're building a set of 64 millimeter stage two turbos. And uh, we'll kind of go over the parts we use, the processes of machining, balancing, and assembly. So you can see what he's gonna get on his truck and what you could get for your truck if you purchase one of our turbochargers. So each of our 64 millimeter turbochargers starts off with brand new components. We got a brand new bearing housing, brand new exhaust housing, our DDP compressor covers. We're going to machine these in the CNC machines to get them to the right size to fit our components. We have our set of our billet LBZ style high flow veins. These are 13 millimeter wide veins. They're going to provide better exhaust flow at full throttle when they're wide open and they'll be able to handle higher EGTs better. We're going to have our 73 by 64 10 blade turbines along with our billet 63 and a half by 90 compressor wheels, six blade. We'll put a set of our heavy duty shaft bearings which have 360 oiling around them, our 360 thrust bearings, and our gapless Seal. We're going to machine it out to a 64 millimeter bore and clean up this casting right here on the face to get it all nice and pretty for this new turbo set. Just kind of doing the final check to make sure it's square and then... Alright, coolant's good. And then I'll just pause it to double check that it's still spinning straight. It looks like it's spinning pretty straight. Oh Lord. And then I'll pause it when it's getting close to the, to the part. Double check the distance to make sure it's not going to crash. Let the coolant start flowing a little bit. And this is where it gets messy. Alright, here it goes. the jaws in to grab the other side of the cover, which is significantly smaller than the back side of the cover. So here we've got our cartridge. This holds the, uh, the shaft for the rotating assembly. Uh, we put in upgraded bearings, uh, better oiling. I always like to double check because we've had some bad experiences in the past. Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Looks like we're good, so here we go. Alright, now we'll get rid of those. Hurry up, Phil. We're on a tight timeline. Me too, buddy. My pancreas doesn't work. If I don't eat this, I'm going to pass out. And then we're really going to crash the lathe. we got to set the new jaws in. These are freshly cut for reasons that I do not wish to disclose. They may or may not have been crashed at one point. Mind your business. Now, we're on to my least favorite part of the entire operation. we got to pull all these pins out. All right. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. So if all goes well, after I finish uh, slide hammering, the pin comes out. Yes. All right, one down, 17 to go. We have removed all the pins, cut the face back just a little bit. Now we're gonna open up the bore to accept our larger turbine wheel. And uh, this is that process. It's 
So here we have our CWT low speed balancer, and we're going to balance, low speed balance the protein assembly for module mass. We're going to run it at 4,000 RPMs. All right, so I have to rotate this around to figure out where to take the weight off. It will tell me exactly where I have to remove the weight. So I put the heavy spot at top dead center. Make a mark on the back of the compressor wheel. We will pull it out and remove the weight off of it. off, make sure it's nice and clean. Now we have got it under our target tolerance that we were shooting for, so we'll pull it out put it in our fully machined assembly for Monster Max. All right, so we're gonna put our upgraded shaft bearing on, our bearing spacer, and our second upgraded shaft bearing. Then come around the backside, insert it into the bearing housing, spin it and push so that piston seal seats. Take the first part of our 360 degree thrust bearing, put it in here. Take some oil, we'll lubricate it. Take our thrust plate, put that on. And then we'll take our backing plate with the second part of our 360 thrust bearing already installed in it, and we will put that on as well. Install our O ring that seals the cover to the backing plate. Put a little dab of Loctite on the shaft. Install our wheel. Torque the wheel. Now we have our rotating assembly in its bearing housing in our CMAT high speed balancer. And we have to magnetize the shaft so it knows the position of the shaft. All right, so now we're gonna hook up our oil feed line, bring our shield down. Lock it into place. All right, so we'll run it again. We have one good line. So we'll run a next pass just to make sure. So we'll take nine of our fillet veins and we will now install them in the exhaust housing. Grab our unison ring, put our unison ring in. Actuate it, make sure they all function properly and they're not hanging up. Set them at half. Grab our seal, put our seal on. Set our clamp on. Grab our bearing housing. Set our bearing housing into our exhaust housing. Making sure we line up the unison ring and the lineup pin. Okay. Once it's dropped in, release our clamp. Put our nut on. And torque it to spec. 